Hello everyone and welcome back to our Expert Expert Low Iron Man Gladiators 7 Maximum Recruits um, Iron Man Campaign. Last time we had a pretty good session. The only problem was we lost two of our gladiators. So we only have one left. So this guy right here, um, J-Half, if he dies the campaign is over. So we got to be careful about that. We're doing this deliver the cargo mission. I was hoping we could go over here, but there was this too much water over here. So I think we're gonna go, actually, you know what? There was a random encounter over here, nine nomads. Yeah, that looks like a good fight for us. So a lot of our guys have adrenaline, not all of them. And, you know, we are pretty banged up, so we got to be a little bit careful. Maybe I'll just go this way, try and buy a little bit more time. Just to repair our equipment a little bit more. Okay, nighttime is good. They're not going to come in because they have the slingers. That's why I'm just moving my guys out. You know, I moved this guy up and I threw the net because I want these guys to come up and engage. That way we can attack twice. That's really why I did that. So they're, they're really doing exactly what I wanted them to do. I'm going to wait just to get the surround bonus. I'm going to move this guy up. I'm going to wait. I want to see if this guy will come here or if he's going to go there. So if he comes here, if, if I wait, I can attack twice. And plus this guy might break the net and then move in. This guy's gonna go here. Okay, good. Okay, I didn't see that guy with the mace, so that, that sucked. That's the problem with waiting sometimes.
Come on, dude, really? This guy's in a 20, so I need to be very careful with him. I'm not adrenaline just because the guy has shield wall, so it's not really worth it. Kill this guy, the campaign's over. He was a C. I'm not sure what level he was. I mean, you know what screwed us in this fight? <clears throat> it said that there were... Excuse me. <clears throat> it said that there were nine enemies, okay? And I there weren't nine on the screen, but I wasn't thinking. So that must have meant that there was more that we couldn't see. And so, as a result, this guy hasn't done anything the whole flight, and he's our main damage dealer. So that really screwed us. Okay, he's done. I mean... Yeah, um... I'm gonna have to wait with him. I waited with him because he's only in a 20. It is dangerous moving in because he's only in a 20, but I think these these slingers usually only have um, knives. We can get this guy in there. He's got a lot of armor. This guy should be okay, too. level three, so it's definitely valuable. I mean, you know, it's one of those situations where he's banged up, he had hardly any armor, didn't have a lot of HP. 99%, I took the fight at night, I mean, 99% of the time, you're okay. Uh, unfortunately, he just got clipped twice by those slingers.
Uh, trying to think if it's worth giving him all this stuff. When you have small rosters like this, your guys need more resolve than usual because the enemies are just going to swarm and surround everybody. So 39 was never enough, but 43 is just not very good in this kind of a campaign. Thankfully, we got a little bit of money from that. We needed that. Okay, they got a two-star contract here. Beggar, not interested. Two ninety-three is a little bit pricey. Seeing if we have knives for everybody, we don't. Okay, so now everybody has a knife. Nomad slings are actually not that bad. guy's got 46, huh? Shepherd with a star. You know what, though? For this campaign, that's... For this campaign, I need a lot of DPS. So eventually what I want to do is give everybody a decent two-handed weapon or uh, a one-handed double grip and then just rip through the company quickly with adrenaline. I think that's really our only chance. So 418 crowns. How long is it gonna take for us to get there? I think I'm going to be able to get better sale prices um, up here for tools. I'd like to maybe buy a little bit of tools either here or here. A lot of times these wooden mots have good prices on tools. 208, there we go. Okay, this armor is nice too. It's really what we need is armor right now. This guy needs a set of armor bad. You know, I want to buy a set of tools, but we're going to hire somebody else, and it'd be nice to have one more set of armor. This is a nice background, Houndmaster. to sell some of the stuff that I don't really want to sell because I want to I want to get this houndmaster
All right. Um, he kind of sucks, you know. He's got seven melee defense. That's not bad. You know, I want to buy one of these these 80s. Now, now we at least we have everybody in at least an 80. Okay, so that's like, you know, kind of reasonable armor for everybody now. I don't really want to sell anything else right now, so we're going to have to go... Let's head this way, maybe we can find something. Trying to think if it's worth looking and seeing what's there. I don't think so. I think we're just too weak right now. Six knock reserves. It's the kind of a fight that is maybe doable. It, it depends on how many big ones there are. It's probably at least one big one. Okay, there's one big one. I'm gonna move back two with everybody. That way, hopefully next turn I can see what else is here. So there's still one guy that we that we can't see right now. Um, you know, they're not coming straight at our formation. That's the problem. The game does this a lot to the player, you know. So, it would be nice to rotate people down a little bit. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because it depends on the turn order. All 
right, so we're gonna have to get in this turn. This is pretty much the best we're gonna get. I mean, this guy's going into the dragon's den here. He could easily get killed, but... This guy's just too dangerous. Okay, that was good. This guy needs to stop missing at 90%. Good chance Tamim's going down here. More misses. More misses. Okay, that was good. This guy's gonna die. Okay, not dead yet. We might actually make it. Okay, breaking. What about this guy? Fleeing. Just gotta get this guy. Okay, good. You know, as we learned in the last one, you got to be careful of fleeing knock reserves. Not really in this situation so much, but... You don't want them to flee, recover their morale, come back, and then eat something. So that was a good fight. This guy's, uh... This guy doesn't have Colossus. He's got 72 HP. He's got a good amount of Stam. He's definitely... He's definitely useful at this point. Do I want to give him... Colossus? I think so. All right, at least nobody got injured. Four outlaws. They might actually chase us. Yeah, they're chasing us. Um, I was going to say it'd be nice if we could get some tools. And then, and then fight them. You know, 
I think I want to go back and try that fight, because if one of them has a pole mace, that could really be a big fight for us. Two gladiators, that's not going to happen. That sucks. Okay, he's got a thief. That's really good. We already have seven guys, though. Maybe we can come back and get him after we take this outlaw fight. Good prices on these trade goods. Try and find those outlaws. Here they are. This guy's not going to do any damage with that, so... I want to give that weapon to somebody else. move this guy into the front and then move him in the back, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of favor DPS for this fight. Because Outlaws, they got, they got a lot of armor. They're really hard to hit, so if we do hit them, I want it to do, to do a lot of damage. These guys are so bad that I'm just going to leave shields on them. So these guys are all very dangerous. I'm just going to try and get as many surround bonuses as I can before we attack. This guy has a net. I should have given the net to the guy who can't do any damage, this guy. Fifty-three, that's good. Ah. 
Right, it's not going bad so far. It's not going great, but... Okay, now it's not going great. Okay, there we go. Three. Let's try that. Good fight. Got an 80. That was good. These scimitars are great. Another axe. You know, our guys are not strong enough really to farm nomads at this point. So, just getting something at this point is good. going to do now um trying to remember the contract so we're not going to fight the gladiators the, they had a two-star beast contract and then they had a caravan mission We could try and take the caravan mission. We are in the south, so we would get conscripts to come with us. It doesn't really pay that well, but uh, at least it pays something. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, they also had a thief that I wanted to try and get. Okay, provisions for the way are provided. So we can get this guy and we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to sell something. Where are we going? Spearheim? That might actually be a day. A day. It's dusk right now. I don't know though. That's kind of close. Might have to get two days worth of wages. Would have been nice to have enough money to get some of these trade goods, but we don't have any money right now. All right, here's our thief. He's 
not not that great. This is a nice trade, um, especially in a campaign like this. He's not great, but he's probably good enough that we should use him. I'm just going to see who, if anybody, we want to get rid of. This guy is only level 2. Okay, he's reasonably solid. This guy is reasonably solid. See, the thing about this guy is he's not that bad. But I don't want to use tanks in this uh, playthrough. I don't think we have enough guys that we can really afford to have people tank for us. We need to just kill people very quickly. Alright, we're definitely not getting rid of him. I think maybe we'll just get rid of this guy. This Night Blind, that really sucks, because um, you can't even give him a polearm and fight at night. He's, he's kind of useless. I think we'll get rid of him. Get Tariq in there. Should be okay. Hopefully we get like an easy fight on the way. Okay, I'm, I'm surprised they're coming after us. Great fight for us. Nice if we could maybe get a goblin pike. I'm going to let these conscripts go in and then hopefully they can net the conscripts and then we can go in after. That's my strategy. These guys are tough to hit, so I want to get as many surround bonuses as I can. I'm going to send everybody up here, because these guys have too many nets. Seven percent, yeah, see. Fifty four, that's not bad. Okay, good. Eighty one. Right. That was great. 
now I don't want them to be able to get away. So I'm going to get in there now. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can free him now. An adrenaline just so we can free him. adrenaline so he can free himself so he doesn't get killed. Okay, good. I mean, he is breaking, but... I think I'm gonna shield wall. Hopefully he only gets hit like once. Okay, that's even better. As long as the conscript doesn't get the kill. Okay. I don't know if we get any credit for that, if we do damage to somebody but don't kill them. I'm not sure how that works. Would have been nice to get some goblin pikes. Right. Cruel Falcon is nice. Net. Let's give this guy the net. Could actually use these on one of our guys if we give him quick hands. He's got 46 range skill. That's not that's not bad. 45, 41. Two to five days. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the boar spear on him. Give him this. Okay, get another Hound Master. a really good price on tools. I'm going to have to grab some tools here. I think I'll get rid of these. Just try and raise a little bit of money here. I'll try and get to two days worth of wages. The road continues this way and that way. I don't see... The road does not go up this way. So... I guess we have to go this way. If we head north, I have no idea what's up there. We might not hit anything for a while. Marksmen, Raiders, and a Leader. Um, it's probably, probably a little bit too much for us to handle at this point.
We could go over here and try and get them to help us fight them. But I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to try and fight them. It is nighttime. We don't know what the marksman has. If he has a crossbow, that's a problem. You know, I mean, this fight is super, super dangerous. Um, maybe it's stupid even trying. Let's give him the net to start off with. I do want to try, though. I want to at least see what they have. You know, does he have a crossbow? Does he not have a crossbow? Okay, this guy doesn't have a helmet, so that's a good start. This terrain is obviously favorable. He looks like he has a cleaver too, a scramasax. Yeah, that's a crossbow. Um, no, we can't take this fight. I mean, you know, they just... Th these weapons, they have all... They all have really, really good weapons. Good armor. This guy's got a lot of armor here. Okay. Just got adrenaline with this guy to get him out of there. trying to think here. Four fatigue to traverse. Okay, so I think we can adrenaline one more time with him. It's too bad, I mean. What is this here? Few thugs, a marksman, some raiders. The problem is, is that it's daytime right now. I was thinking maybe we could get them to chase us to the next town. Maybe by the time we get there, it'll be um, nighttime. Oh, we got 
the supply caravan we could use too. I want to try and take it without them first. You know what? Let me see. Um, just looking at the morale of everybody. It looks like everybody's fine. So let's see what it is. If he doesn't have a crossbow. Okay, this this looks a lot better than the other fight. I mean anytime you have raiders with thugs, it's it's way, way easier. Okay, he doesn't have a crossbow, but I mean he can still pick us apart. Because we don't have shields. And they're not going to come in. knocking adrenaline right now because well maybe I should I'm gonna wait I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I'm gonna wait with this guy I wanna kinda send everybody up this way because they got a lot of strong guys down here so it'd be nice to kill, like maybe kill these two thugs to start. Okay, that's good. This guy with the flail hanging back is exactly what we want. decided I'm not going to adrenaline. This guy, though, I, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to adrenaline with this guy. I'll explain why in a minute. You go over here. We could adrenaline and then net this guy. Just trying to think of who we want to net. So next turn, I'm going to move him down and attack him. Hopefully one-shot him. That will officially start the fight, and then these guys will move in. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to net this guy. Too, just so because I want to kill this guy. Okay, that's not what we wanted. Okay, they failed to kill him. Okay, we have to kill this guy with the flail, like ASAP. Another miss. Well, this is going horrible right now. Absolutely terrible. Another miss. Okay. We need to kill somebody, like, right now? Wow, okay. I guess we're just going to lose the campaign because nobody wants to hit anything. 
39%, 49. Finally. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess we're just going to lose the campaign because nobody wants to hit anything today. Another miss. Yep, they don't miss, though. No, they don't miss. We just miss. Yep, see what they did to us? That was exactly what we were supposed to do to them. Now we're just going to lose the campaign. It's ridiculous. Another miss. Another miss at 60%. Okay, well, it was fun. Hope you enjoyed watching my campaign. 90 million misses later. Okay, you hit him, but it was too late. It was too late, you idiot. Too late. Yeah, too late. I'd like to go back and look and see how many times they missed. Another miss. That's good. Yeah, okay. Good, you're dead too. Great. All because everybody missed. That's why we lost the campaign. He's fleeing, that's great. All right, well, he's dead too then. Kill this stupid archer. All right, dude. 67%. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. He's fleeing. Great. I mean, how stupid? Really? How stupid? Okay, great. I want to go back and count how many people missed that fight. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody.